So the majority of our thoughts are consumed by what happened in the past and how can I um, change what's going to happen in the future. Well, we can't change what's going to happen in the future. We're literally here to experience the now. What is in the now? And I want you to just ask yourself, what is it that I want, right? Like, what do you want in your quote-unquote future? What does your soul want to experience in this life? Mine, it's stimulation. It's mind, body, spirit, stimulation. It's curiosity. It's travel. It's yummy food. It's laughter. It's joy. It's deep, open conversations where everyone's just sharing and no one's taking it personally. And there's so much more I want to want to experience, but like those are my things. And people look at that and they look at that as, well, but that's not a goal. That's not a career. But when you're in that now moment, and your heart and your soul and your body and your mind are stimulated, are fascinated, are intrigued, are curious, are playful. Each day when you experience that, you feel more fulfilled than any one single accomplishment or goal. Because your soul is rich. The ego likes to plan and have structure and, and focus. And I'm not saying that's bad because, I mean, we do need some of that, right? But if you're not following through with the why you're feeling certain things or why do you want certain goals, if you're not even aware of what you're experiencing, if you're not aware of how you're feeling when you leave certain groups of people or you leave your job or it overcomes you and you just dread hanging out with those people or going to that job, that's a sign and a hint hint from your soul that this isn't what you came here to experience, love. It's not. So I just want you to ask yourself, what did you come here to experience? What is it for you? What is it? I love you.